Welcome to the Doom Zero 100% walkthrough for the PC. Played through GZ Doom on the Ultra Violence difficulty setting. This is Map 29, the rematch. A rematch with who? We all know who it is. The Witch. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. We made it to the boss fight. We have a kicking ass remix of Sign of Evil. Evil! And we have the sigil eye up there. And since we're doing this from a pistol start, let's not grab this berserk pack right now. Because we will save that in case we get severely wounded. And we see a red and blue bars we have to get rid of with this switch, so we have to find both of the keys. Let's head down the super shotgun way first, being very careful to only grab the shells that we need. Ammo is very precious in this map. And we'll let the Lost Souls come to us. Yeah, on this side there are a bunch of Lost Souls with the super shotgun as well as an Archvile, who will be sniping you. I think there are... 13 Lost Souls we have to kill. Luckily, they're all grouping up like this, which I like. Makes my life easier. One more Lost Soul somewhere. Ah, here you are. Now comes the deal with the Archvile. So, let's head up to his level. Always remain alert and aware of where the corners are, like this. And you should be fine taking him out with the Super Shotgun. We'll head past where his perch was, and we come to another Archvile. Like I said, be alert and aware of where the corners are, or you will get zapped. But beyond where he was, is the red key. So we'll grab our last box, and we will press the red switch, and that will open up the red bars, but also reveal the blue switch that we can't activate just yet. Now we'll head to the chain gun side. I actually died in this area with 13 alpha souls. Because one snuck up behind me. Well, you'll see in the outtakes at the end of this video. So far only one outtake, but that probably will change. Yeah, look how many are coming up this way, because my back was turned to these alpha souls. And one of them dropped me down to low health. Yeah, 13 lost souls in the regular super shotgun area, and then 13 alpha souls in the chain gun area. Yep, I knew someone was going to sneak up on behind me. Three more Alpha Souls. Because the kill count has to reach 28 before that's done. Ah, there you are. But we also now have three Revenants to kill. And with the remainder of my chain gun ammo, I like to deal with the one by the plasma gun with my chain gun, if possible. It's a great sniping tool. And then with whatever is left, we can tickle the remainder. To death. And we come to two paths. One on the right, one on the left. The left will take us to the plasma gun. We'll save the ammo for that, though. And the right... 
will take us to the third and final Revenant. And we will jump the gap and get the blue key. Now we are ready to grab the Berserk Pack and flip the blue switch and head on through to where the witch is waiting for us. Now, this boss fight is extremely hostile and you must be very quick. I won't do a whole lot of explaining except the basics that you need to know. Let's head on through. Oh boy, here we go. Hey guys, Big Mac Davis going to interrupt Big Mac Davis here for a second. So we just teleported, and I didn't show this off in the walkthrough, but there are two energy cell packs on the right side. Make sure to grab those too. They are going to help you out with the boss fight. Okay, back to our walkthrough. There's the witch. Let's jump down, head up the stairs, and immediately jump to the secret area with a mega sphere and some cells. Now we'll head up to the rocket launcher, carefully drop down, and press the switch, which will lower down this barrier, allowing us to get to this switch. Now it is timed. Gotta press it, hug this area, and shoot her heart. There is no BFG in this map, as far as I know. We'll grab the Megasphere just to be safe. Press the switch. Oh, wow! There are more cells over on the left, by the way, if you run out. That was the rematch. Holy smokes, I'm surprised I got that in just one attempt on the boss. In all my practice runs, I've had Pain Elemental spawn, I've had Baron spawn, I've had just big enemies like Mancubi also spawn, so that filled up the that filled up the fighting area rather a lot. And so it made shooting rockets into her heart difficult because these big giant enemies were behind me, shooting me in the back, in my practice runs, not my recordings. This is my second attempt on this map, and my first attempt I died with the Alpha Souls. But aside from that, there is that spot that I noticed that had more cells on the left of the witch. Um, I'll go ahead and show that off too, uh, when this is done, so... Anyways, we killed the witch in map 29, but there's still one more map to go. That was the rematch, and we took care of the witch once and for all. And we couldn't get all the kills because of the, the fact that there were enemies still alive in this map that I couldn't kill before the witch died, but that's normal in boss fights like these so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But we'll move on to the sarcophagus in the next video. But I'm going to show off those cells that I noticed. So I'll show off how to get those as well because that has to be a part of this walkthrough. So we'll go ahead and do that right now and then I'll show you the outtake and then I'll see you guys next time in the final map of Doom Zero. So take care, everybody. I'll see you then. Where this time, we have a bunch of, I think, 13 Alpha Souls. 13 might not seem like a lot, but when they're grouped up like this, and able to sneak up behind you like that, um, it makes it very difficult and their ability to basically be like a Cacodemon chain gun, almost, makes it uh, really tricky. Yeah, 1% hype. My goodness, I thought I was dead there. Always remain alert and aware of where 
the Alpha Souls could be coming from. I met a Nazi, obviously, so, uh, shoot, I never, usually I die in the boss fight area in my practice runs, I've never died here, well, go figure, first time for everything.